Good morning, everyone. It's Rafe Gal. We are back with some more Pokemon. Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. Uh, this is the most I've done in between videos this time. Um, so I'm going to take a moment before we get in back into the game and start uh, figuring out what's next to kind of talk about that. So first of all, most of my Pokemon aren't in my box right now or in my party. And I left them there. Uh, what I did, as I was talking about, was I sent them to uh, Poke Jobs to do EV training. I've been talking about this as I've been playing through a little bit. Um, those dark yellow trying or er, uh, hexagons that I was pointing out throughout the game. Uh, when they max out, they turn blue. And each of these ones has a slightly different value that I've picked. So you can pick what stats you're doing by doing specific poke jobs. Now you can see some of these, like uh, in this case, Eric has a bunch of special attack buff. Unfortunately, you do earn some naturally. And so the Pokemon I've used a lot throughout the game kind of earned their own uh, more sporadically. Uh, but we at least pushed the direction, and uh, the result is largely that you can see a big increase um, in the stats from one or from before this video to this video. Um, the rest of my Pokemon are currently on Pokejumps, so I'm actually going to go and retrieve some of them. So my HP and attack seminars are complete. And defense, special attack, and speed still have five hours left. Uh, like I said in the previous videos, these take 24 hours to get the full effect. Uh, I set these ones on shorter ones because they have the Pokemon that I'm planning on using. <laughs> so these ones are largely uh, the Pokemon that are... Flying types, ground types, stuff like that, that I still had left. Basically, the stuff that isn't going to be useful against the ice gym that I'm about ready to go to. So, there's my first group back. When you do that, it gives you a little notification saying how much HP you earned, or how much you increase the EVs, for, at least, for whatever category it was. And you got some money. Uh, one of the other things you may have noticed with that is an unfamiliar face. Because I did a couple other things in the course of this. As well. So this is now Boone. He is a Hitmonchan now. We evolved him. The way we had to do that get him to be a Hitmonchan, we had to make his defense higher than his attack, which at the time it was. And the way I did that is I maxed out his defense EV first so that it would boost it up. Then we went out and got him five levels, got him evolved, which we ended up getting a few more than five, but that's okay. And then I put him back into training to continue getting attack bonuses after that. And he just got that little uh, HP bonus at the end as well. Um, we had two other evolutions, which I think the first one is going to be coming up here. Yep. We have a Conkledur now. So, one of the thing, one of, one of the stipulations I put in was that uh, I would be using um, that I would be willing to trade specifically to evolve a Pokemon. So I traded Grant and then traded him right back. So I now have a very powerful fighting type uh, that can help with that. Ice gym. Uh, in a way that we really didn't necessarily have before. I'm pretty, I mean, Boon would be decent, but doesn't have the 
isn't level 43. And then we have Sam and Mike. Uh, um, so we've got a pretty solid, oh, and Nick, um, who are all pretty powerful. Um, so my intention for today, oh, and Jeff, actually, too, we have a really well-rounded team here, um, between fighting and fire types. Um, the only thing that we would really be super worried about from this is, uh, if the enemies have... So Micah's going to be taking neutral damage from ice because of rock typing. So he's weak to ice and strong to ice, so it's neutral. Um, but also has very good defenses. Um, I actually have, I believe, an extra charcoal... That I can give Nick. Charcoal, charcoal. Uh, Jeff. We are going to swap hammer arm. which I guess I should take a moment to point out. So I showed you briefly what or that I had boosted some of the EVs. Not all of them are maxed out. So like Jeff's is still kind of in the middle. And some of them... So there's different ways you can approach this. Um, the way that I approach it during gameplay, not, I'm not looking at being competitive with this because I'm trying to get through the game. And especially in a Nuzlocke setting, I'm going to put a little bit more emphasis on defenses and balance than I would normally, and a little less on speed than I would normally. So some of them, like, so Boons is very attack and defense, and I gave him a little HP. Um, Grant, we didn't, er, Grant hasn't had as much time to train because I was uh, taking care, I had to leave him out for a day because of the, um, the trade. Um, so he's got a, some HP and attack. Um, like I said, Micah, very big boost to special defense here to kind of round him out and uh, a lot to HP and a little bit to attack and uh, defense. Um, making him very well-rounded. Nyx is... 100% into attack and a little bit into speed for what I had left, effectively. Um, Sam, again, attack and speed, little HP. And uh, Jeff is well rounded uh, because he's more defensive and I'm potentially going to be using him for that sort of purpose. Um, I think. Um, we would like all the items. We're going to grab the leftovers from Jared and give that to Micah. We're going to grab Malcolm's muscle band and give it to Jeff. I guess we'll just move the, this over to Grant. Let's see what we've got left. Um, I'm probably not going to be using Boom for this. Uh, I mostly have Boon here um, to get XP. And if he happens to get strong enough <laughs> in the course of this, get enough levels, then we will bring him in. But I'm not expecting it necessarily unless I were to grind a little bit more first. Um... Yes, we will go. Yeah, let's go shed shell. Uh, for now, like I said, my plan right now is for him to just be in there to get XP. So, this is a pretty solid uh, 
way for to make sure that he can get out if he needs to. So I can potentially trade him in for a round, uh, basically as a preservation technique if needed, and then trade him out safely. Um, so there are several other poke jobs here. Um, I don't think. Yeah, we don't want to cancel. Um, so I'll worry about that next time. Uh, this time I'm gonna focus on this gym. Uh, so we know we're gonna have a fight with Hop. Crap, we're gonna have a fight with Hop. You know, I think we can probably still take Hop with this team, unless he has something that's a real stretch. I think the fight with Hop is first. Who else do we have here that we might be able to, just for this part of it, keep in? Just to give a, or to make things a little bit more well-rounded, I suppose. Okay. Um, so, if he has a fighting type, we should have a flying type. I'm trying to remember what he has. We have lots of fire and fighting right now. Um, let's try that. sure we're gonna get into a fight with Hop right away. If I'm wrong, yep. Okay, so he fought Melanie and lost. I gotta figure out what my team is. Wait, we don't have to fight him? Okay, that's fine. I don't really want to fight him right now, so... Um, yeah, we'll switch back. Uh, we don't want our flying types in for this because ice is strong against flying. And, uh, we don't want... Uh, let's see. Tristan doesn't have anything that's super effective. Jared would, uh, because ice is strong against ground. Uh, ice is strong against grass. Uh, we haven't been able to evolve Fred yet. I've been working on, uh... So Yamask is uh, has a weird evolution consideration. You have to take 50 damage in a single battle and then walk through a specific area. So I've been intentionally raising his HP as much as I can through uh, through that training. Uh, but we've still got a ways to go. Oh, his HP is actually maxed. So we might need to level uh, him some more because right now... 30 is a very narrow window. We can potentially get a, a weak enough Pokemon to get that damage. That should be fine. But it's a way, it's going to be tricky to, to do. Um, we're still working on Ryan. He got a few levels uh, while in between. Um, uh, but we can't use him yet because he's not evolved yet. Um, I'm working on figuring out a good way to do that. Uh, I may be asking somebody to trade me one of the items um, just so we can get him evolved similarly to how we do with the trading ones. Uh, otherwise, he'll be one of our party members for most of the DLC if we uh, get that far. And then, yeah, that was the, the main ones that we haven't been able to use yet. And then again, flying against us. So, um, I think we want to start with one of our lower level, high level Pokemon. <laughs> so, not Boone, uh, but Jeff and Nick. Uh, because Grant doesn't need the XP, Micah doesn't need the XP. Uh, Melanie 
maxes out at 42. So the trainer we're fighting maxes out at 42. Um, we're basically going to be using uh, fire when we can, especially if there are... Uh, there's several uh, grass or steel with ice subtype, so that would be a go along. Um, uh, fire then does quad damage, and then a fighting type uh, will be for, especially against if there are water ice types, or ice types that likely have water moves. Moonball. Uh, makes it easier to catch stuff that evolves with a moonstone. Okay, that's really specific and random. I hate the weird one-off Pokeballs so much. So, as I said before, I'm not going to be doing a ton of stuff in between. I did leveling up in between on this one. I did... Uh, specifically the exact same thing I did before. Uh, that being, I went and fought Stunfisks in a circle. So I literally have an entire video of fighting Stunfisks in a circle. Uh, I also did, uh, yeah, Trap Detector. There's Invisible Pitfalls. Oh boy. That sounds fun. So this is the same as the previous one. Um, uh, the in sword, this is the uh, rock gym, and this entire thing is sand. Okay, gym trainer. So yeah, this is the same puzzle uh, that you would have in Sword. It's just a uh, different uh, Pokemon and different texture. Uh, so Snome is fire, or er, is a bug and ice. So this should be a one shot. Fire is strong against both, and it's unevolved. And Nick is awesome. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay. So it must be this way. I am, for the record, not above brute forcing this a little bit, because it's a really annoying puzzle. <laughs> okay. So, we did pretty well. <laughs> uh, the path does m become a lot. If I remember correctly, the path is a lot shorter when you, uh, when you get into fights. This is gonna be, yeah. Okay. So it must be this. Nope. Okay. There we go. Okay.
Oyster. Hey, remember that thing that I was saying about ice types with water moves or water ice types? Yeah. Um, so I think what we do here is we switch Jeff in. Um, and we're going to hope that it's a water move and that his defenses can hold. Actually, we're going to hope it's a direct move. Okay, he just did a buff. Uh, shell smash. Lowers his defenses, raises his speed. And attack and special attack. So that's problematic, but we should be fine. We're already slower. Razor Shell is going to be a water attack. Glad we did that. But it's a direct attack, so he takes half damage because he's fluffy. And the lowered defenses makes it real easy to finish him off. Perfect. Assuming that it's not going to be that easy. I mean, I guess we can double check. Wow. It was that easy. Okay. So we're going to still leave Nick in front. Even though he might not technically be the most reliable because of that whole water types. But we have a really solid defensive Pokemon we can switch in if we need. Um, let's just go with Flame Wheel. I'm feeling fairly confident here. It's probably gonna be two hits. Never mind, it was a crit. One shot on Bear Chick. <laughs> Easy enough. Okay, this is going to be annoying, and uh, also reminds me of driving home today. I'm kind of brute forcing slash guessing a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Only a little further now. There we go. Micah? Have a lug. Uh, that should be. I think Avalug is pure ice type. Uh, he might have rock moves, but I think we'll be okay. We've been one shotting everything so far. Nick's doing a lot of damage. This is a really high attack or a high uh, defense Pokemon though. High physical defense. This should do it. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty well-rounded here. Um, we've got an another level for Boon. Uh, we've... Let's see. Yeah, Jeff. We have a lot of Pokemon here that we have used a decent amount. We haven't gotten a chance to use Nick because he didn't evolve for quite a while. So I'm okay with giving him a little bit of the spotlight here. Uh... We haven't actually used, um, so used Nick for the first few. Uh, let's swap out Sam for the next one. Again, keeping to that fire. 
typing to start with. quite tell and unfortunately uh, okay I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little brute force here rather than walking slowly in the blizzard there we go I kind of figured that. Okay. So now we're on to Melanie. Um. So I'm not sure exactly what Melanie has. I know that the, she ends up with a level 42 Lapras. Uh, which is why I wanted to make sure we had a really solid team of fighting. Um, because Lapras would pretty much eat, uh, Arcanine and Raboot alive. <laughs> Not Raboot, what's the other form? Meh. Sam. <laughs> Cinderace, there we go. Uh, would eat Cinderace alive. Uh, so having Grant here is a really good way to, um basically ensure we have a finisher um plus high hp pokemon like uh like Conkledur with very high attack are great options for uh dynamaxing especially because uh something like hammer arm has a very strong uh power but a downside to it and we don't have to worry about that in uh, Dynamax, because it's going to turn into Max Knuckle and not have that downside. But retain some properties of the attack in terms of power. Okay. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid. Okay. That's, that's great. Let's see what we got. Frostmoth. So this is the evolved form of Snome. Uh, so, Bug, Ice, four times weak, two, Fire. Pyro Ball is a powerful fire attack. One shot should be easy. Man, ten. Uh, I can't remember what that thing's typing is. I want to say it might be... You know what? I think we can pull this up. Let's continue. I think it's just ice. We'll leave Sam in. Avoided the attack. Okay. So, worth noting there. Uh, Iro Ball does have like a 90% chance to hit. That doesn't mean it's going to hit every time. Okay. That's the downside of using those types of moves that don't have max accuracy. Level for Nick, awesome. And level for Boon. I'm really excited to be able to use Boon down the road here. Ice Q is a pretty weak Pokemon, if I remember correctly, so I think we should be good here. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do... I think she's just got two Pokemon left. We're going to switch Grant in now. <laughs> so 
so we're gonna Dynamax before she does. Because I don't think we're gonna need all three turns one-on-one -on -one against Lapras. And the reason I'm doing this is also because Max Knuckle increases... Uh, Max Knuckle increases attack. So we should be able to get one attack boost off so that we can hit Lapras harder. What? Ice face. Wait, this thing has a... Okay. So apparently it has a transformation like uh, Mimikyu. I didn't know that. If I knew that, I would not have done that. So hopefully we're going to be able to take Lapras out in one hit. It's a good thing... <laughs> it's a good thing Lapras isn't a bulky water type or something. That would be awful. We do have two attack boosts though. Even if it cracks, ice is still ice? Okay. So she's going to Gigantamax her Lapras. And we should be able to hit it really hard here. The downside is, I don't know if we're going to be able to one-shot it, but... Oh, it gets to go first, too. So we'll find out. Okay. We're okay. As long as that doesn't lower attack, or paralyze, or freeze, we're okay. Never mind. Puts up a barrier stronger against both physical and special attacks, so that might not be enough to kill. Okay. Uh, Brant is now slow. And has taken a bunch of damage. So I think what we're gonna try and do is switch um, Jeff in. Assuming it's going to use another ice move, should be fine. Jeez. Okay, that was a crit. That makes me feel better. We only need to survive three turns. Um, that's a nasty attack. And a really cool one. I didn't actually know that. Looks like it puts up both... Effectively, it's putting up barrier. Um, yeah, we'll heal again, I guess. The fact that I didn't have... Uh, the fact that that ice, uh, or the first attack against Ice Q really threw me off. I was not expecting that, and it really hurt the strategy I had going. Because so I was expecting to do one attack against Ice Q and then two against Lapras, um, which would have been fine. Um, but it worked out. We just had to play slow and wait for Dynamax to wear off. That's sometimes what you gotta do against these boss fights. Okay. Um, Micah leveled up, Boon leveled up again. I really like Melanie's design. I hadn't, since I haven't played Shield, I hadn't actually seen her. And, like, I don't know, there's something about her design that I actually really like. Uh...
she doesn't uh she doesn't look like other characters that I can think of from the Pokemon franchise offhand. And uh the high collar and the design on her hat and hair is again, it's unique, it's different. She has a different uh profile as well. How about imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion? Nice. So that is cool as well. I did not uh, realize. But again, I have not encountered or in dealt with Melanie like at all. Um, a lot of the other gym leaders are have a lot of kind of stereotypical designs. Not all of them. Some of them. Um, but I actually like the way they handled them in this game better than in a lot of other games, as odd as that might sound. Um, granted, er, saying that though, a lot of them are still very stereotypical. Like, I was complaining a little bit because Alistair's is this, it's a really stereotypical, like, shy spooky boy ghost, or shy spooky kid ghost, uh, trainer. We've seen that before. Um, you know, we've seen the, uh, the, the swimmer, the very athletic swimmer design for water gyms. We've seen the big dude for rock gyms. Um, you know, a lot of them look like, you know, the regular trainers of their types to an extent as well. Um, for some reason, I don't know. I, I, I really like Melanie compared to a lot of those. She doesn't really seem like she... Uh, she breaks the mold a little bit, it seems like. Buff, but no trouble. Has some great restaurants. Something I want to talk to you, so we're gonna go and... talk. But I think we're gonna do that next time. Because... We are... Already running a bit long because I talked a lot at the beginning of this video. Get everybody caught up. So that's the uh, restaurant that we have to go to right there. But we'll do that next time. So, hopefully you're enjoying. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.